everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I will take you on a perfume tour through Europe. But first let me say happy 70th birthday to the Fender Stratocaster, an iconic guitar that has maintained its sleek curves and timeless style throughout the years. The first full-scale production run began in October 1954 with the Vibrado model priced at $250 and non-Vibrado model at $230. The most expensive Strat of all time was David Gilmour's Black Strat from 1969, which was sold at Christie's in New York for almost $4 million. The new 70s anniversary models are priced at approximately $1,000 to $2,000. Now it's time to fasten your seat belts and let's go on a perfume tour. The city of grass is the perfume capital of the world. The city is surrounded by large fruit and flower farms. These produce the oils that are the basis of the French perfume industry. All of its jasmines are reserved by the Chanel house. Its May rose is also beloved by perfumers. They have three well-known perfumeries, Gallimard, Fragonard and Molinard, where you can buy their products as well as create your own fragrance. Highly recommend visiting these. Now we are in Paris. Guerlain Paris. Very elegant perfume shop with a great selection of fragrances. Maison Francis Corgia. Good fragrances and very nice stuff. Galeries Lafayette Paris. Here you will find all the famous brands of perfume. There is a lot more to it than just perfumes. Worth checking out. Jovoy Paris. Here you can find all your favorite perfumes in one place. They also have their own fragrances. Jovoy Paris and Cherubim. L'Artisan Perfumer Good perfumes and nice stuff. Frederick Mall famous perfumers and good perfumes. And now we are in Italy. Florence. Santa Maria Novella. The Santa Maria Novella perfumery and pharmacy dates back to 1221 in Florence. In that year, the American friars founded the monastery of Santa Maria Novella and began, among other things, the cultivation of a garden. It was from this garden that the experience of many centuries in pharmacopoeia 
and in natural preparations began to develop. Later, this experience expanded into the world of cosmetics, fragrances, and wellness products. Next up is Aquaflor Firenze. The perfume house is made up of workshop that is divided into three large Renaissance rooms, each one more mysterious and fascinating than the last. A laboratory located in the old cellars where the perfumes were and still are prepared and the fragrance room, the holy place of the perfumer with a collection that today includes over 1500 precious essences that come from all corners of the world. And now we are in Milan. Fueguia 18 33. Argentinian Perfume House is the creation of Julian Bedel in 2010. Expensive but good and long-lasting perfumes. There are stores in Milan, London, two in New York, two in Tokyo, Buenos Aires, Uruguay, and Mexico. And now we are in Modena. Profumix Luxury Perfumes. This is a very unusual perfume shop with a lot of good and unusual perfumes from many different parts of the world. And last stop is in beautiful Venice, Perfumery Franco Venice. It is a cozy shop located on the Ponte di Rialto. They have their own perfumes as well. Hope you enjoyed the trip. Till the next time, have a good one.